Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Bam! And make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you click on the bell over here and hit and hit send me all notifications for this channel and click save. And if you subscribed, type I sub I subscribed and in my next video I'll give you a free shout out to everybody that subscribed and liked. This will allow you to boost your channel and get lots of views. Hi guys, yes, it's Roboxian. I'm back again with another awesome video. This time guys, I'm doing a video on some awesome optical illusions that you guys need to check out. They're absolutely mind blowing. So let's get straight into it. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and comment below saying I subscribed. And in my next video, I'll be giving you guys an awesome shout out. So number one, so number one, which of these faces is female and which is male? This is quite a popular um, optical illusion. So if I was to guess, I would say that the first one is female-ish looking, but they kind of look the same. Also guys, make sure you pause the video to join in on these awesome optical illusions. So apparently the answer is they're actually the same face. So if you thought that one of these were female and one was male, you're actually wrong because apparently they're both male, but it's just, oh no, they're both the same androgynous face, but with different contrast levels. So awesome optical illusion, not really that great, but it's just starting now and I'm pretty sure there's some awesome. The next optical illusion is this one. It's one of my favorites. Basically guys, what you need to do is stare at the cross and look, try to basically stare at the cross and you will see the faces turn into some weird looking stuff. I mean, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so basically just keep on staring at the cross and if you look to your side while staring at the cross, the faces turn into aliens. It's so creepy. Can you guys see it? <laughs> oh my God, it's too creepy. So at number four, we have this photo over here. There is no lake in the photo. Tilt your head. Oh my God. Holy crap. <laughs> Wait, so it's, oh my God, that's mind blowing. So it's basically a tree stump on its side. That is actually unbelievable. This is probably the best optical illusion I've ever seen. Wow. So this optical illusion requires you to stare at the video for 45 seconds and then look at the palm of your hands. So let's play this video. P -p 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 play that video. Um, to me it looks, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay, so basically, first I saw a parrot, and now I see a woman that's kind of posing with, oh, like, oh, that is so creepy, what the hell, so what is it, is it a parrot or a woman, as you can see, can you see, like, the eyes of the woman and her nose, and her breasts and her leg that's crazy 
So apparently it's not a parrot, it's a woman covered in very meticulous body paint by artist Johannes or Johannes Stoesteter. That's crazy. <laughs> okay guys, for me personally, I think she's going clockwise. And she doesn't seem to be changing direction, to be honest. Yeah, she doesn't seem to be changing direction. Does she change direction? Oh, ooh, yep. She just changed direction for me. But the thing is, is it like a loop that's just going forwards and backwards? Or is it an actual optical illusion? That's what I'm not sure about. Apparently, this illusion derives from the lack of visual cues for depth. If you want to learn more about visual cues and depth and all of that, you can just search up on Google. I learned a bit of that in psychology, to be honest, but perception and depth cues is quite boring, to be honest. Stare at the black cross for 10 seconds and see what happens. Okie dokie. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa. I think basically the green circle going round, you just see the green circle and not any pink, which is crazy. That's a really good illusion. I think that's how it's meant to be. So the history of what the information behind this optical illusion is that the purple dots disappear when one fixates on a particular point for even a short period of time, an unchanging stimulus away from the fixation point will fade away and disappear. Awesome. At number 10, apparently these monsters are the same size. Again, I think this fit, this picture is playing on visual cues and depth cues and all of that perception. Yeah, they pretty much do look the same size. Yeah. Was you'll see the same size. 21. Stare at the yellow dots for a while and they'll disappear. Okay. Oh my god. So basically, guys, you need to... Wait. Just start at one dot. Okay, I'm going to try and start at one dot and see. Oh my god. Yeah, guys. So basically, start at one dot. And some of the other dots will disappear. It's absolutely crazy. Wow. Oh, I've seen this one so many times. How many legs does this elephant have? Okay, so I see one, two, three, four. One. Wait. Okay. Well, legs, there are legs and then there's feet. If we were to count the legs and not the feet, I would say he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight legs. But feet that I can see, it looks like one, two, three, four. But I think he has eight legs. Oh, this is crazy. Check this out. Great photo of cars on a street. So this is a picture of cars on a road. But actually, it's just, oh my god, it's um, a, a little, 
it's actually little toy cars on a piece of cardboard. That's crazy. Oh my god. Wait, how did they get that angle? Bloody hell. If you enjoyed this guys, make sure you like the video, share it on Facebook and Twitter, and like it. Peace.